Blessings, everyone. This is a beautiful Aurora. She is a wash client. What is a wash client? Yes, we do washes. Well, Jimmy does it. They are clients who preform like her. Notice her locks are nice and flat. It is a rare thing. It's not a bad thing. If your locks grows flat, it is not a bad thing. Okay. In fact, growing up in Trinidad, this was pretty common because there was no locticians um, to manipulate our hair and how rasters in my mother's time grew up, where some of their locks, we have met people who, not locks, what am I saying, locks, where the locks were flat and the width of my hand. You guys haven't seen flat locks yet, but the difference with back then is that back then locks or dreads or rasters there was it was not as commercial and it was not all about the you need to style and all of that so locks were more natural back then when she called me in fact she just came up from the islands um said lucia you mind i say that mm -hmm. right she just shout out to said lucia mm -hmm. and she called me while we were talking while she was in said lucia she said yanni i'm coming up i need you to wash and treat my hair. So I explained to her, I said, it's not just a wash. We're not just gonna wash you and kick you out with wet hair. Jimmy's gonna give her a nice long massage. I'll put on some nice soothing music for her. And then I'm gonna oil her scalp, treat her scalp. Her lock stays flat. I'm not trimming anything. This is the look she wants. And, um, and then give her another massage and then she will, and that's it, okay? So Jimmy's about to go. Are you excited? Very much. So. Very much. So. Good, good, good. I'm excited for you too. All right. So again, these are flat locks. I think it's very unique. Like I always tell people, your locks is like a fingerprint. No two people have the same set of locks, even if you are identical twins. And no two locks on your head looks alike. Enjoy that. Enjoy the fact that there is differences with locks. Okay. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. All right. You have no allergies, right, Queen? No. Perfect. So we are back. How was your wash? Great. They're relaxing. Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since somebody else's hands have been in my head and it was very comforting and I felt like I could fall asleep. <laughs> was it worth a trip from St. Lucia? <laughs> like who does that? You went to... <laughs> Was it worth the trip from St. Lucia? <laughs> worth the trip and worth the dollars. Right. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I was just going to say, so you're a little sensitive because you put peppermint at the end to open up your follicles. Right, so you rinsed it off. Um, I'm going to give you a hot oil treatment now. And um, you are going to... And then I'll give you another massage just to like calm, not as aggressive, but just to calm the, the, you know, your scalp down. Okay. Right? So he is done. I'm glad he liked it. I'm just going to gently make sure none of the locks are, you know, um, after a wash, people locks tend to get matted. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, it's, it's the water. So I'm just going to gently pull them apart to make sure no two locks marry each other. But your locks will still be flat and um, you'll still be free for me. All right? All right. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back with the queen who came from St. Lucia to get a hair wash. You have just off topic. Your skin makes me sick. It's so, in a good way. When I say that, you know, everything I say is a compliment. Your song bad is a compliment. You have such beautiful melanin skin. And shout out to Haiti. All right, because Haitians got some beautiful. In fact, the Caribbean got the best looking women. Let me start with that. Like, right? Let me just start with that. The Africa, Africa, Caribbean, we got the best looking melanated queens. Shout out to my Haitian clients and my Haitian um, subscribers. How was your wash queen? It was great, great, great. I mean, I because I freeform, I haven't had anybody in my head in a very long time. And so it was just like a really good reintroduction back right. into somebody else helping Hand. me take care of my hair. And it was just, it was like a deep <sighs> Yeah, exhale. it was like a spa for you. Did yes. you expect it to go on that long? Yeah. You thought it would have been like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, kind of thing? Absolutely. I mean, no, I didn't think that, but it, I enjoyed it. Because right. I, when it's been long in the past, it's felt like restless, but I didn't right. feel restless yeah so, you guys yeah. had good conversation music was playing and all of that that's yeah. why i put on i took off the reggae and then like <laughs> let me put on some soothing music for and get out of the way as i said don't talk just enjoy it yeah um how was my scalp massage 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah. I mean, I think, first of all, I think we, because there was peppermint. On yeah, it, it is, and you never it, had it before. Yeah, so it just naturally kind of opened. I don't know the words. Yeah, but, it opened your pores. It's my, called opening your pores. Yeah, my scalp just feels actually just in a better position it's to efficient. receive a, yeah. a massage. But yeah, yes. it's very relaxing, very soothing. And just like, I mean, also not just the, how it was executed, but I feel like I appreciated that you asked me questions as it was going along about of how course. I felt about yeah, it and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes people just no, no, no. have a general approach, but I felt like if no. I needed an adjustment that you would be amenable to it. Yeah, yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Why, I know somebody's watching it, I know the answer already. <laughs> what made you go towards more freeform locks? First of all, did you start your own locks? I did. You did? Yeah. So, I mean, basically what I did was I did a two-strand twist mm -hmm. out and I just never touched my hair again. That's it. What yeah. made you go more, because uh, some people say they're free form and they're semi free form and full free form. In our day, it wasn't called free form when I was growing up Rast in Rastafarian culture. It was just called, you got bungo, natty, yes, yes. right. <laughs> and, you know, that kind of thing. But what made you go towards, in today's society, towards free form locks? And you do know your locks grows unique. It grows right. flat. So what, first question, what made you go towards a free form look? Um... Well, part of it was practicality because I don't like doing my hair. I know that's right. <laughs> and then, honestly, I mean, I think sometimes people have very deep, deep answers. I think mine is just, I just feel more beautiful this way. To be honest, I mean, I, yeah, you are. I you like are. that my hair is unique is and unique. it doesn't grow like everybody yeah. else's even yeah. if i were to cut my hair and go free form again it wouldn't be the same no as i always tell you said what i always <laughs> tell people your new luck journey is when you started it you can start it a hundred times then a hundred times will be your new luck journey exactly. you will never be able to repeat this <laughs> exactly what is your regimen um how often do i wash my hair i think i wash my hair because i i'm living in saint lucia so i have access to the natural the salt good water. Oh, stop talking so i that, know <laughs> oh, i miss trinidad part of my <laughs> regimen is just letting the natural salt water mm -hmm. bless my hair to be honest um but in addition to that i think maybe i wash my hair like once a month i don't know if that's like too much to me it is but go yeah. ahead no that's fine to me it is but then again like you said you have the water in the caribbean and water here is two different water right. here strips over here yes. so that's fine and you have the ocean and good rivers and all of that yeah right and the, what do you oil with I oil with Haitian castor oil. And say the word, but I always tell people, I have Haitian castor oil. I use that for myself. I don't share that with clients. Bring that. What is it called in, in um, Creole? We call it real masquiti. Yes. One day, one of you all got to pronounce this word so I don't bite my tongue off. Because I like, it's some, it's some type of French Creole word and then the Haitian class like that. I'm like, yes, that's it. I got it. I got Haitian casserole for me yeah. though. So you you know when it's the good Haitian one when it's it smell like, like it smell like um a combination of chocolate and like wood. Yeah. And it's dark. And it's thick like mm. like molasses. Molasses, yes, 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 yes. I get mine from this girl used to bring it up for me from a Haitian lady in New York. She says she used to come in a barrel. But it's it's hard to get. Yes, I have pure Haitian cast. And, and it's good it's good also if you're sick, if you rub it on your chest. Um, if yes, you I it. Trinidadian. <laughs> Even though we don't we, we swear by castor oil. Right. Like anything <laughs> wrong with you, some old tante or mommy bring some <laughs> castor oil. That is so no matter what, Caribbean people, period swear. Your child can't take a poop, your baby drink some yes, castor yes. oil next thing you're trying to bloops right <laughs> i tried a daddy and so we know what castor oil does right <laughs> but what advice would you give to anyone that wants to free form or just wants to don't have the how could i put this don't be worried about how everybody locks is just right. enjoy your what advice would you give someone one day should i free form or should i go the the way everyone is going now well, it's to enjoy the process yes. because I, I think some people use words like the ugly stage and stuff. But Listen, if you tell me that, I'll just, I will kick I, you off my damn house. It's honestly, <laughs> I hate that word. If you let yourself have fun, it's yeah. fun and it's creative um, and just, I don't know, it's a really cool experimentation thing. I mean, and to me, I, I feel closer to myself by having gone through it because it, yeah. it, instead of, it forced me to let go of needing to... Society, exactly. society standards, Absolutely. Um, fake standards of beauty. I exactly. grew up with here like this, what you have, so this is normal for me. But there's so much pressure, on, especially women. Yeah, and especially like in these days, some, uh, a yes. lot of us are in the corporate world, so we can feel especially scared. And I made my transition in the corporate world, and I'm a counselor, so my 
And we're about clients, to talk about that. My clients would see me going through my changes. And so, you know, you, you can, I'm not going to say that I'm above feeling self-conscious, but I have to confront it. Yes. And because of that, I'm more self-assured than I've ever been. Yes. Right? And you said something I love that you said earlier when you say you feel more beautiful. It is empowering. Yeah. Two things I think for black women is empowering. It may sound contradicting what I'm about to say is women who just no matter what type of locks they have, they, they were right. so used to doing the perms and relaxing, all that stuff. They, they lock the hair, whether it's free form locks or they go to a loctician, they come away from the creamy crack mm -hmm. and women who shape their hair off. Yes. Because we still beautiful. Because I did that years ago when I was in my teens, I just shave it off, right? right? And, you know, when I cut off my first set of locks, I just shaved it off. That is also an empowering thing because we think our hair, um, you know, it, it 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 is who we are yes it's part of who we are but we go the with or without it we still Absolutely. black and beautiful and also i would say for me like i i'm not into the whole like hair type thing but for yeah. those of us that have like the kinkiest hair that maybe we yeah i don't say hair type like, or yeah. or whatever um this feels like the first hairstyle that i've ever had that was meant for, for my because this is your hair in its most exactly. natural state everything else i felt like i needed to like there's a different type of hair yeah. that's more ideal for it but yeah. this felt like oh this is, i have an advantage and yes. i can and i love being i'm a water person so as somebody that loves the water yeah this works for me very well and like <laughs> i tell people people like you who are because your locks are still young it's, it's still young mm -hmm. it's short you get first front row seat mm -hmm. you get to see this it's like your daughter who's here you saw her when you give birth to her <laughs> this is your new child right right and you the same how you saw her crawl then say mama whatever you get to see this move from your ears to your neck and as you grow in life because you can say you know i started my second practice when my hair was by my yes, ears yes, when it yes. got to my uh what it made <laughs> that's when i bought my farm whatever it is i'm like why do you want to rush that just enjoy it Definitely. as you grow because we don't we stop growing tall i think around 21 we still grow as people you stop growing when you die right. so even if you live to be 112 you're still growing as a person mm -hmm. and as you grow as a person mentally spiritually psychologically all the leaves like yeah, i all say the leaves. all the leaves <laughs> you want your hair is with you through that journey that's why it's called a journey and that's what people don't get it's a journey so that being said you are a therapist a therapist what they are different type of therapist what type of therapist are you well i have a background in working with addiction and substance use but right now i'm currently specializing in couples therapy particularly high conflict couples okay <laughs> and what is a high i already know me didn't talk people who toxic as heck one step away from beating well, each other to death I think there's two types of okay <laughs> there's people who won't stop fighting and then there's people who are so avoidant of conflict because they know that if they, they try about to, to address it that it would a big breakup yeah. would happen right and so we either deal so with they're like a quiet storm yes exactly Exactly. Right. So they are keeping everything inside, kind of like that movie, Anger Management. 100%. Right. So what made you want to get into this field? I've always naturally been a person that people talk to mm -hmm. and like, I'm the kind of person I'll go to like a party and then next thing I know I'm talking to someone yeah, who are people have that type with of, me. And, yeah. And so it, it just that's what's easy for you yeah it just naturally fell into me my mm -hmm. life as like a purpose right you yeah. also mentioned while jimmy was washing your crown substance abuse and right now since covid substance abuse has skyrocketed not people take something don't mean just just snorting crack i think right. alcohol has gone up a lot of people have no more to alcohol so you help with that also um 100%. pills yeah. you know well at least i mean because i'm i'm in private practice now i don't work with people that are in such an addictive space where you know they, they probably need to go to more of an inpatient mm -hmm. place but basically like there's a major transition period that people go through when they're getting their life together, together right and so once they're stable and clean i work with them to get stable to, to flourish their life right yeah what about teens um how we grew up with all peer <laughs> pressure and all of that you know we just grew up we were allowed to be children. I'm finding more and more teens, and I'm talking before the age of 17, from 13 to, you know, 
the mental state is not all together because really clients not. tell me it's like we don't worry about that because they said it's so much pressure on them do you if, if somebody was to come to you now and say you know i don't need the help but you need to talk to my team do you do that type of work so i don't work with adolescents adolescents because yes that's, and that's something that i think i want I'm to glad say you is stayed that your, your lane exactly is you if you find yourself wanting to work with therapy you want to work with someone that specializes yes, that's yes. their niche so maybe a couple because some people can say just because they want to fill up their case because maybe they're mm -hmm. low on money or something that oh yeah i'll take this client but you want to work with a clinician that is a specialist uh, yes and that isn't afraid to wait for the clients that really suit them right i'm not the adolescent no i'm glad that you say it but i work well with parents that are struggling so if if you're the couple that can't get on the same page about how to parent, or if you're an individual that's feeling a lot of stress about right. how you're parenting, I can work well with that. No, right? I understand. It's kind of like if I, I know I need to go to a podiatrist, I can't find one. I go to the gynecologist and take right, care of my right. foot. The gynecologist <laughs> looking at, that's the wrong part I need to be looking at. Right, right, Not right. your feet, the other part. Okay. So stay in your lane. I completely agree. How, if somebody's watching this video, even though you try, because now you could do it online or on, yeah, how, how, how have you, what's the word I'm looking for? With today's society, no one needs to see you in person. How can people reach you? Right. So firstly, I'm currently um, licensed in the state of New Jersey and I'm about to, to get licensed in New York. So I can't unfortunately work with people that are not residents of either of those states. Right. And I am working virtually, but they can find me. On my website, which is... Say it slowly. Yes, right? Uh, so my name is Audrey Augustov, and mm -hmm. so that's the website. So www.aud, as in dog, R-E-Y, August, like the month, A-V, like Victor, E, dot com. And she would be giving me that word also. It's long, but she would be sending it to me so I could, you know, and you guys can go straight. If they have questions, they could reach you. They via. can, if they go to my website, they can book their own consultation right. on themselves. That's one of the major issues with a lot of therapists is they're so busy because so many people need therapy that sometimes clinicians aren't particularly great at getting back to people that mm -hmm. have inquiries. And so one of the things that I've done is I've made it easier for people instead of waiting on me to get back to an email is you can just go to my website and book your own consultation call and it'll be right there so very easy to get in touch with me i have oops i dropped my mic because i'm a klutz i have one question one more question to ask me if i wrap this up mental health is at its all high ever ever mm -hmm. even though we have more resources compared to when we were growing up right because okay. especially black people you can say you deal with mental stuff most of us grew up in christian homes where your mother or your grandmother would say i rebuke that in the name of jesus <laughs> I, I, yeah rebuking it and jesus didn't help it i still <laughs> feel like i'm that shit crazy right i'm just you know i would talk my way <laughs> but let's be real mental health is at all high right no matter who we are what we do how much money we make um as you talk about being in your niche what about mental um it's adults it's not um what it name their relationships might be the problem but would you help with mental health right so let me be clear about even when i'm working with couples is i when and i tell my uh, prospective clients this which is i'm not here to fix your relationship mm -hmm. i'm here to help use the relationship as an opportunity to develop individual insight which will lead to behavioral change mm -hmm. so even maybe if i'm working with individuals mental health concerns who have diagnoses because i do have that background because of the addictions work clinical work no matter what you're doing is always going to come down to facing yourself right facing your traumas facing you your fears, be in denial your projections mm -hmm. you know it's, it's always going to be about that no matter what type of work you're addressing addiction couples yes. you know even career counseling you know, it's always going to come down to, I have fears. I have, I mean, I was raised in poverty. Therefore I have financial insecurities yeah, and cool. therefore I hate to spend money and I hate to take risks. I mean, it all yeah. shows up in our lives. Right. And therefore my, I'm always fighting with my spouse because she wants to buy, you know, buy this, but I don't, right. I mean, it all shows up in everything. And so at the core of any form of mental health is facing yourself right. and identifying this is what I inherited mm -hmm. through my family system, through my upbringing. Right. And how can I reshape that to become congruent with the person that I want to be? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I call you Aurora because you look like you have an Aurora. <laughs> Audrey is her name. Um, it was enjoyable seeing you because we spoke. When you hit me up, you told me that. You said we spoke. I kept, and it's weird. My memory is excellent. I remember parts of what we spoke at, but when you had my WhatsApp, I was like, yep, she got my personal number. She know me, know me. Because <laughs> nobody got my personal number. But I would like to see you again. Not for your hair. It's two separate things. If you want to book us for your hair, that's fine. But I hope in the future, like when it gets warmer, we could do some kind of thing to talk about, like, you know, questions if people want to do Absolutely. a, a Q&A, you know, something to people like, you know what, I don't have the time, but I want to ask this, you know, what a little things, yeah. snippets. Maybe, people, maybe people who see this video can identify in the comments like, yes. what they would be interested in that could help us formulate an idea. You know what? And usually I shut my comments off, but I leave it open. <laughs> So thank you. For, I'm going to leave the comments for this open. Please, any questions you have, go send it to us. Uh, um, you know what she does, you know. And if you feel like asking questions about her here, that's fine too. But please, more towards mental health relationships, go, go towards what she does. Right now, we need help, and she's offering her help. Take advantage of it, right? And um, it was really great seeing you. you How too. does your hair feel now? I feel yes. <laughs> it's moving. When you came, hair. it was yeah, a little it was rigid. It was a little yeah, crispy. it was and it was ashy looking. I told you that, but you know when I say things, but you Caribbean, you know how we talk. Caribbean people don't get offended. Um, some Americans, are, oh my God, she said the lady ashy looking. No, not her. As you can see, she's glowing, <laughs> but one her hair wasn't covered. As soon as she walked through the door, it, if you guys don't know, she left a very warm climate. I sure in St. Lucia, your hair was looking how it looked now. Right. Once you come here and be in the winter season, all of us look ashy. My skin, look, the other day I'm walking, I split my foot from it being ashy because right. I didn't put the, the lotion on it, the right. bottom of my feet. We ashy. This weather messes up our body. So it wasn't ashy like she didn't wash her ass in days. <laughs> <laughs> her hair looked very dull, but it is bouncing. See, turn to the side so they can see it. I love your flat. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I love it. I, li you know what I like with you? That you're going into a field where you are, you are in, not going to, you're in a field where you're meeting so many people and you're letting your intelligence speak for itself. Yeah, this year might be nappy because you're happy. It's a, it's a compliment. Yes, this year might be nappy. I know I got my bungo, my natty going on, but here yeah. what? I gonna help you. Yeah, and you know, like, I actually think that having my hair like this somehow indirectly speaks to client like about well, taking, speak to me <laughs> taking the risk of being yourself. Yeah. Unapologetically, you know, I think because it, how we look does yeah. affect our relationship to and ourselves. And if you think like you gain a little weight or, you know, before I used to have a lot of perm, now I cut my hair and my husband, I think my husband don't really like it. Right. All of that is stuff that needs to be talked about. hundred percent. You know, and as women, you know, we overthink stuff. So <laughs> we need somebody like you in our life, sis. It was great talking to you. Thank you for this. I'm going to leave the Thank comments you. open, guys. Send your questions to us. If ever you want to book us, what do you say? Should they book us for, for just a hair wash? We do have regular <laughs> clients. But if you want us to just... Why I have this headset on that's squeezing the crap out of my ears? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why is my ears hurting? If you just want to book a hair wash like this sister here, we have another client coming down from me. And she's been trying to book me for three years. I'm excited to see her. You can definitely hit us up. You guys know, do not send me a text if you're booking us for the first time. If I don't know you, we have to talk on the phone. I think it's very impersonal to try to book me via text. Mm -hmm. All right? And let me know when you leave the voicemail. Speak your name and telephone number clearly. This is in both Jersey and Georgia. Georgia clients, we see you all in January. I'll post the dates. Just let us know in the voicemail. Yanni, I want to come in for you and Jimmy to give me a wash. Say less. Got it. All for you to do out my hair. All right? Queen Audrey, it is a pleasure and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Kylie. Shout out St. Lucia. Shout <laughs> out, shout out, hey, shout out, Haiti. To all my Caribbean people, Trinis, Yadi, Guyanese, <laughs> um, Africans, Kenyans, um, Ghanians. Oh God, it's so much. People from Togo. I have a client who I met from nice. Togo. Oh my God, Johannesburg, all over Africa, all over the Caribbean, Barbados, where I'm missing, Puerto Rico. I'm going to shout out Vinci because I got a lot of Vinci oh, Yeah, Vinci, friends. right. <laughs> um, the, the, the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, 
Help me, help me. We gotta shout them out. I'm like uh, Antigua. Antigua, but Antigua Bermuda. Dominica. Dominica. Martinique, Guadeloupe. Oh, let's God. Just, let's throw it out. Let's a lot of people don't even know those are islands. <laughs> Martinique, Guadeloupe. I'm looking at the whole island. Exactly, that's what I'm looking that's at. That's what I'm saying. That the whole island. Uh, Jamaica, I said Jamaica because they yardy. Who else? Who else? Uh, St. Bart's, like, let's say St. Oh, yeah, Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. And, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Good. It's a lot. A right. lot. And when it comes to Africa, we're dealing with Johannesburg, like South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, all my Igbo, my Yoruba people. <laughs> yes. Well, I had to shout you a lot because you know I'm Yoruba. Um, oh God. Angola. Oh, Angola. All of you. Sierra Leone. So, oh, Senegal. Jesus. Senegal. <laughs> Um, Congo, y'all are con Congolese. Um, all of y'all, shout out, Happy New Year, everybody, and stay to me. If we miss your name, you know we love you. Grenada, I, we didn't say oh, Grenada. Shit, boy, I gotta call, yes. I gotta call Did Grenada. we say Barbados? I think you did. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Grenada looking at me like, what in the. Right, Vincentian, we love right. y'all, we love all of you. <laughs> We love you guys. If we miss your name, you know it was not meant on purpose. All right. And we people in Europe, a lot of people know us. Israel. In, yeah, Israel. Yeah, I met clients from Israel, China. Everybody across the globe. We love you guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And thank Bye. you for always supporting me. Love you guys.